Hello again, still looking at absolute values. So we've got minus 4 being multiplied by an absolute value that has 7 minus 3w in it. And then we're adding 21, and that whole entire mess is equal to 5. Great. Again, we have to get the absolute value on its own. So we can subtract 21 from both sides. Minus 4, and absolute value, minus 3w, such a squeaky marker, minus 16, oh, stop squeaking for a second there. Now, we still need to get it on its own, so we divide both sides by minus 4. And so, we'll have absolute value of 7 minus 3w equals 4. Ah, we're good, there's a positive on that side, we can continue, we can get rid of our absolute value, and remember, what does that mean? When you get rid of it, we get a plus and minus answer on the other side. Great, plus or minus 4, we could also write 4 and minus 4, but we then have to evaluate both. So first, 7 minus 3w equals 4. Let's go to positive case first. Great. Well, we can, if we want, we can bring the 3w over here and say 7 minus 4 equals 3w, and therefore, and we can flip it if we want now and say, w equals 1, because we get 7 minus 4 is 3, divided by 3 is 1. Now we can also look at this solution over here. Now we have 7 minus 3w equals minus 4. And same thing, I can bring 3w over there to make it positive. So I get 7 plus 4 equals 3w, or in other words, w equals 11 over 3. And again, both of these are viable solutions to our problem.